Hey. Go ahead. I need to ask you something. You should give yourself credit sometimes. You really are one of the good guys. I don't know how to break this to you, but I'm not a guy. Yeah, obviously. I mean, not that I'm specifically paying attention or anything. Well, you know what I mean. But just hear me out for a second. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you, both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another. Even the good ones. But you're different. You really care about other people. Even when it isn't convenient or even safe. I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters. That you're making a difference. Well, if any of that is true, it's... Well, a lot of it's because of you, Preston. You've shown me how to be a better person. Oh, thanks. That means a lot coming from you. Really. All right. Enough chit-chat, huh? Is someone in there? Let me out! Who are you? My name is Billy. Please. I've been trapped in here for so long. How did you end up in there? I hid in here to get away from the bombs. But there isn't a handle on the inside, and it's really dark in here. The bombs were over 200 years ago. You're that old? I don't know how long I've been in here. A long time, though. A really long time. Please, I don't want to die in here. Why should I trust you? I'm really tired and lonely. Can't you just open the door? Let me think about it. You're just gonna leave me in here? Don't go! Come back! Are you still there? Let me out! I'm just looking for the mayonnaise. Maybe you could grab it for me? Second shelf? Right next to the pudding? That's not funny. That's not funny at all. What kind of horrible person would say that to a kid stuck in a refrigerator? Besides, I ate the pudding a long time ago. Ah! Uh, my legs are so stiff. Everything's so different. I guess I was in there for a really long time. What do I do now? So, what's the story with you in that fridge? It happened so long ago, back before everything got wrecked. When I heard the sirens, I tried to find someplace safe. When everything started to shake and fall apart, I just crawled inside. When it got quiet again, I tried to get out. But there isn't a handle on the inside. I just want to go home. Can you help me? Please? Well, um... Where did you live? Quincy, but I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. I just want to find out what happened to my mom and dad. Then let's go find your home. You'll be safe with us, Billy. Thanks. I live in Quincy. Or at least, I used to. But I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. Whoa. It's nighttime and it's still kind of bright. It was always pitch black in the fridge. Cute kid. Is he for sale? What's a ghoul child worth? Hey, you can't sell me. Plenty. I'll give you 200 caps. Ghouls are immune to radiation, don't age, and don't need to eat. You can work them real hard. Only 200 caps? <laughs> you can do better. You're sharper than you look. 250, and I'll save you the hassle of carting them all over the Commonwealth. That price is an insult. All right, all right. 300, and not a cap more. 
Give me a break. I know what he's really worth. Damn, you drive a hard bargain. Here's 350. I'm taking the kid. You... You sold me! You asshole! Ah! The highway is totally wrecked. Hey, Billy. You sold me? Then you rescue me? Why? I did it to trick Bullet into giving me the money. Maybe you could have told me that. I thought you really sold me. Mom? Dad? Are you in there? Billy! Billy? Is that really you? It's me. It's really me. Oh my god! We thought you were dead. What happened to you? You're all burned up like me. We're ghouls, Billy. The radiation changed us. Looks like it did the same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. I love you too, Mom. I missed you guys. It's been so long. Thank you for bringing us back our little boy. And saving us from that man. So, how did you end up as ghouls? We didn't make it to the shelter in time. The door was shutting as the bombs fell. We both must have taken a lot of radiation. I guess we were some of the lucky ones. Most folks die instead of becoming ghouls. Must be something in both our genes. So that's why you guys look like me. Yeah, Billy. That's why. <laughs> Although it's really more why you look like us. We wandered for a while, but eventually came back here. We've been living here ever since. Not really anywhere else to go. Let me thank you. Take this. Gotta get some more ammo soon. Excuse me. Glad you were here when Bullet and his gunners showed up. Yeah? Well, hello. I never thought I would see my mom and dad again. Thanks. <clears throat> oh, thank you for saving Billy. What's on your mind? I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. It was the lowest point of my life. I mean, all my closest friends were dead. Everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to Concord, and we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. I never realized you'd lost hope like that. I had to put on a brave face as long as there were still people counting on me. That's the only reason I kept going. My point in all of this is that, well, you saved my life. And not just by saving us from those raiders in Concord. I mean that you made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd killed those raiders and then just taken off, I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So, I just wanted you to know that. How much our friendship has meant to me. Thanks, Preston. I know that wasn't easy for you to talk about. It feels better finally getting to say it out loud. Thanks for listening. I guess we should get back to it, huh? <laughs> <laughs>